Jericho used to live on the streets and now he lives in a small one bedroom apartment. So Jericho has this cat condo that has multiple perches and it also has little huts where he can hide and rest. So I use all of these tips and tricks to make my small space more cat friendly so that he can be happy indoors. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho and this video is sponsored by me. So I make cat care printables that you can create a binder or laminate to reuse. These are really helpful for keeping track of your cat's routine what he likes and what he doesn't like because that is essential for cat happiness. You can check out the printables at my Etsy store or you can click the links below this video to take a look at those printables. Thank you so much for your support. So the first cat apartment tip that I have for you is to buy cat furniture that satisfies multiple needs. So multiple needs for enrichment and cat happiness include climbing, scratching, perching, resting, hiding and just over, overall looking over their territories. So places that are really up high. So Jericho has this cat condo that has multiple perches and it also has little huts where he can hide and rest. And I also put it next to the window so he has some added entertainment there. He also really loves his cat ladder, which is very tall and it doesn't take up a lot of floor space. Again, I put that next to the window for added entertainment. But for the cat ladder, he can climb, he can perch, he can scratch, and he can nap, and he gets an overview shot of the entire apartment and he can look outside. Let me know in the comments if your cat loves to window watch. I absolutely love when cats chatter at the birds. They're just like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and that brings me to my next cat apartment tip is window watching. So looking out the window is essentially like free cat TV. Even if your view stinks, I've had so many clients that whose cats love to sit in the window, even though their view was of the apartment right across the alley. <laughs> the cat still really likes looking out, out the window. This is free entertainment and a lot of enrichment for your cat because they can look at bugs and birds and people walking by or just some leaves flying in the air. You know, they really love looking out the window. And a window perch is really great for this because you don't, it doesn't take up any floor space. So it's really great for small apartments. I also put Jericho's condo and ladder, as I mentioned, all right in the same area. And I have this DIY condo that I made so Jericho runs up the condo and then he hops up to his cat, cat condo, jumps down to the window perch and then jumps to the top of the cat ladder. So Jericho has this really big cat jungle gym essentially and it's all in the corner so it isn't in the way of of me when I'm walking around in my apartment, but it's all right next to the window. It's easily accessible for him and he really loves jumping and climbing all over this. And he scratches on the rugs too. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so more apartment dwellers like us can see this video. Thank you very much. My next cat apartment tip for you is to put your cat's stuff out in the open where it's easily accessible. Because if your cat isn't comfortable using it, he's not going to use it. So for example, Jericho has this new cat scratcher. I used to put it next to his current scratcher so that he recognized it and would learn to scratch on it. And he did. And then I moved it into the office in this bedroom where we're at now. And I put it up against the wall, kind of like out of the way, and he never used it. Then I cleared out the space and pulled it away from the wall. Now he uses it every single time we come into this room. So right after breakfast when we come in before work he uses it and then in the afternoon after I give him his treats we come back into the room and he scratches on it it's really funny because my boyfriend John actually mentioned like he never uses this scratcher I pulled it away from the wall and then the next day Jericho started using it <laughs> it's always when you kind of like give up and think oh he's not going to use it that's when they use it it's really funny the next cat apartment tip that I have for you is to put the litter box in a quiet private but open area because again, if your cat isn't comfortable using it, he's not going to use it. You don't want your cat to eliminate outside the litter box or just not use the litter box at all because that can cause behavior problems, stress problems, and urinary problems as well. So Jericho's litter box is in a little private nook between the couch and the closet. And again, this is against the wall, but it's not behind things. It's not inside of a messy closet. You know, cats don't want to have to travel through a bunch of mess and step over this and climb over that to just to go to the bathroom, you know, and, and you wouldn't want to do that either. There, right? So have it in a quiet area where there's low traffic and you also want to make sure that it's open and you know comfortable for your cat to use because they like to move around and dig around and, and you know move around in an open space while they do their business. They also like to be able to watch over their territory while they're doing their business because in the wild when you go to the bathroom that's when you're most vulnerable. So they like to be able to look out on their surroundings and I know that cats that live indoors don't live outside. <laughs> 
but these instincts are still ingrained in, in all of our cats. And of course, it's important to keep the litter box clean. You can check out my five minute a week cleaning routine right over Mia. Thank you so much for watching.